Hi everyone, it's Alexis again, um, Assistant Supervisor at the Lake Success Office for our Long Island Center for Speech and Myofunctional Therapy. Um, today I'm here to talk about and show you um, different iPad apps to target speech, language, feeding, fluency, social skills, um, basically all areas across speech and language. Um, I think it's important to educate everyone during this time on apps that could be used to target speech and language skills um, because we have a lot of parents and caregivers who are reaching out during this time saying, what could we do? What could we do to support um, our children with their speech and language skills while schools are closed, offices are closed? Um, we are conducting teletherapy. You could visit lispeechteletherapy.com. Um, but during this time, it is important to be able to supplement with iPad apps, and it's also fun. Um, I don't always use them in session. Now and then I'll supplement an activity with an app um, just to switch up the activity, keep the child engaged, or just change up the task. Um, but I definitely think it's great um, for home practice, especially during a time like this. Um, so the first uh, set of apps I'm going to go over is um, apps for articulation um, or speech sound production. My very favorite app that I'm going to show you right now is Articulation Station. Um, so this app, you could buy you could buy a free version, but it doesn't include many sounds. Um, or you could buy each sound individually that you need from $1.99 to $7.99. Um, or you could purchase all the sounds like I have for $59.99. Um, keep in mind that this app is usually on sale during the month of May um, for Better Speech and Hearing Month. It's usually half price. Um, and I also believe it's half price right now um, due to everything that is going on. And um, the creators of this app are there for everybody to support their students and their children at home. Um, so I'll just go over um, the features of this app. Um, for instance, say you are working on the P sound with your child. Um, you could select the word level, phrase level, sentence level, or story level. Um, and it's quite fun and engaging. It includes matching games. And you could pick if you want to work on the initial, medial, or final position of the word. And you could engage in a little matching game, say sheep say soap. Um, another cool feature about this app is that you could use it to track data. Um, so I just hit the check mark um, in indicating that the child got the sound right and it keeps data. So right now 100%. Say the child doesn't say hippo correctly, give an X and now the accuracy goes down to 67%. Um, so this app is great because it's fun, um, includes matching games, um, spinning wheels, um, and it also um, has different features on how to record uh, speech sounds and how to track data. Um, I'll show you another feature. Um, so if you're working on phrases, you could do a fun game. A lot of children like this game where you spin each wheel and it creates a fun phrase. So dirty B. Um, so a lot of kids like hitting the buttons and um, engaging in all these fun games. So even though this app is a little bit pricey, I think it's well worth it um, because it targets all sounds, all levels, all word positions across flashcards uh, um, and games. You could also record the sounds and you could also track data. I mean, there's not much more I could ask for um, in an articulation app. So again, although it could be pricey at times, it is well worth it because it does everything. Um, so that is Articulation Station. Um, moving on to our next app um, is Phonics Studio. Again, this targets articulation and phonology. Um, this app is completely free. Um, so for instance, um, say you're working on the S sound, you select S. This app um, targets initial, medial, and final word positions. Um, and it also addresses um, blends, if there's any blends. So say your child is working on S in the initial position of words. You hit that, you hit let's go, be a guest. Um, and there's just various flashcards, sailboat, and you have the child produce each sound. Um, there's also a record button here if your child would like to record themselves and play it back um, for that audio feedback. Um, this app is also great because it tracks data by check or X. Um, 
The only downside to this app is that it doesn't have free sentence and reading levels. However, you could be um, more creative with this app and just create your own sentences or phrases. So, daddy wears a suit. There you go, I made my own sentence. My sailboat, I made my own phrase. So again, although this app doesn't have all the bells and whistles of Articulation Station, um, it is free and you can modify it um, to be what you wanna be. Phrase level, sentence level, conversation level, let's talk about sailboats um, and use our good S's. Um, so this is another great articulation app that is free. Um, moving on, I have some apps for language. Um, let me show you. Let me go to my language subfolder. Um, one of the first apps I'll talk about is the Autism Eye Help for WH questions. All right. Um, this is a good app as well. Um, there's a free version and there's an upgraded version for $3.99. Um, and it has a few more options. Um, this app targets all WH questions, who, what, where, when, why, how, um, with different types of visual stimuli across three levels of difficulty. Um, so say we select a level one and we select who. So you can hit the play button. Does it say it? So who, who grows crops and raises animals? So you could read it yourself or the iPad can read it to your child if you hit the play button. Um, and then they select the appropriate answer. So who grows crops and raises animals? A farmer. Oh. Um, who helps keep neighborhoods safe? So this app, police officer. So this app is pretty straight. You did it. <laughs> this app is pretty straightforward. Um, they also praise you as you get the answers correct, which is nice. Um, again, it's a great app because you can um, have your child focus on answering WH questions in the presence of visuals. Um, this was level one, um, but when you buy the upgraded version, you could do level two and level three where they increase the amount of visual choices or they fade visuals as needed. Um, so it's great because you could tailor it um, truly to your child's needs. Um, I also like that it reads the question out loud and all the multiple choice answers in case the child um, isn't at the reading level. Um, my next app I'd like to go over for language is the Weber Hear Builder app for phonological awareness. So this is for language and pre-literacy skills. Um, so if your child is having a tough time with uh, phonics and beginning reading skills, um, I truly think this is a good app. Um, so let's go to that. Weber Hear Builder, phonological awareness. Weber Hear Builder, phonological awareness. So it's cute. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a tour. This tour lets you try three levels of difficulty for each activity. To learn more, go to hearbuilder.com. So this app targets rhyming, sentence segmentation, syllable blending, phoneme deletion, phoneme addition, phoneme manipulation, and a lot more. Um, so for example, if your child is working on rhyming, you select rhyming and a little rhyming activity will come up. So these are all um, free literacy skills. All right, we are ready to rock. Words rhyme when they have the same ending sound. And again, three levels of difficulty, low, medium, and high. Touch here if they rhyme. Touch here if they don't rhyme. Head, lap. <laughs> So this is a very cute app, um, and I love it because it targets so um, so many pre-literacy skills um, to really help your child um, build the foundation. This tour to lets you it. try three levels of difficulty. Okay, so let's move forward. Um, the next app I'd like to go over in the language section is um, the Weber Hear Builder for sequencing. Um, a lot of children are working on sequencing. Um, and it's, it's a very important skill to have. So sequencing um, directions, sequencing everyday routines, sequencing events and stories. Um, and not just sequencing is an important skill. That's more of the receptive skill. But don't forget about the expressive component. The child must be able to retell the events in a cohesive order. Um, and they 
also will be asked to use temporal words first, next, then last um, to promote that organization. And again, don't forget the expressive speech, um, the expressive language portion rather um, targets sentence formulation um, and vocabulary selection. So sequencing is a great goal to address because it just um, encompasses so much. All right, so over this. Um, this tour lets you try three levels of difficulty for each activity. To learn more, go to herebuilder.com. Okay. So again, there's three levels of difficulty. I'm going to select medium for this one. Welcome. Put the um, cards in order on the blue boxes. Okay, so hot chocolate for Sam. <laughs> this story is called Hot Chocolate for Sam, and it has three pictures um, where the child has to sequence the order of making hot chocolate, um, and then the child has to retell it. Um, so it's great because it's very visual, and the child can manipulate all the visuals until um, he or she gets the appropriate sequence, and then they're ready for retail. Um, so this is a great app. Um, this app will score based on the ability to sequence, but if the parent is sitting here and assisting, the parent can aid um, and judge the child's ability to retell um, sequences um, in the correct, cohesive manner. Um, so that is the sequencing app, another great app to support language. Um, I'm gonna go into another category um, of our profession, which is auditory processing. Um, and I have some great auditory processing applications to show you. Um, another web or here builder app, um, they're my favorite, um, for following directions. Following directions is a very important skill that a lot of our children are working on right now. Okay. This tour lets you try the first level of each activity. Okay. Visit herebuilder.com to learn more. So again, the free version, you get the first level of every activity, um, but for a couple dollars more, you could um, increase the level of difficulty, but it's definitely a great start. Um, this app goes over basic directions, sequential directions, quantitative and spatial directions, temporal directions and conditional directions. Um, and if you select a certain door, say you wanna work on uh, temporal directions, it'll bring you to a game where the child will have to, oh, in a level. Listen carefully carry out the and put the correct toys in the box. Put a doll in the box after you put a duck in the box. Um, again, so a kids dinosaur in the box before you. Okay, so again, um, great app to target following directions, five different directions across three levels. Um, and as you could see, children love it because they make it into a game. Um, half the time, the children don't even realize they're learning. Um, they just are so engaged with playing the game. It's really a great app for auditory processing and following directions. Um, keeping in that auditory processing category, we're gonna move over to the Weber Here Builder Auditory Memory app, um, another one of my favorites. Um, so this app is free. Once it loads, I'll tell you what it targets. Welcome to Weber Here Builder Auditory Memory. Okay, so um, again, a very this tour lets you try app. three levels of difficulty for each activity. To learn more, go to herebuilder.com. Okay, so the auditory memory. Tap app. one of the buttons to go on a mission. Or tap a briefcase to hear helpful strategies. Tap agent status to see how close you are to completing each mission. Okay, so let me just go over what this app targets. Um, so again, this app is free of charge um, and this application targets auditory memory across a variety of tasks. So um, memory for numbers, memory for words, um, memory for recollection of details, um, auditory closure, and memory for WH information. Um, it's really a great app. So let's go to WH info. Welcome to the command center, recall agents. Dr. Forget. 